Okay, Paul, I just, if you can just give us a brief introduction yourself and of your playing career. Right, Paul Walsh, I'm 48, um, played for Charlton. <laughs> you didn't want to know I was 48, really, did you? But <laughs> played for Charlton, Luton, Liverpool, Spurs, Portsmouth and Manchester City. Uh, England under 21, a youth and full England international. Okay, brilliant. Just want to take you back to the start, I suppose, um, just in relation to how you actually learnt the game, just from a, from a youngster sort of coming into the professional game. Yep, jumpers for goalposts, any bit of grass I could find, school playground, Dr. Martins with a tennis ball. Um, <laughs> Sorry I, to do it. It, without realising at the time, that was a massive sort of part of getting a good touch. Okay. Um, trying to run with a tennis ball with, with the ball with still yep. toe cap Dr. Martins on. Not easy. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, just in relation to, you know, we're talking about sort of developing the game in it. Um, I suppose in terms of football educators for yourself, who, who would you say would be the best and the most influential in terms of developing you as a player? Well, I think, you know, your, your, your youth days are, or even before that, you know, 13, 14, 15 year old is, is probably the key time for learning, um, learning the game. And although the, the person I'm going to mention is a guy called Roy Passy, who you wouldn't have we probably wouldn't have heard of, okay. but he was one. He's the first person that jumps into my mind when I think of who influenced me, helped me the most as a youngster. Because okay. once you get to the pro game, everything's a little learning process as you go a little bit. Okay, and you, you make reference to him. Why does why does he jump out? What did he actually do that sort of sticks in your mind? Uh, no, just just in terms of just ideas, painting pictures, giving you ideas of how to do things better, okay. um, insisting on good technique, insisting on certain things, good habits. Because um, if you get good habits when you're young, you keep them through your career. Sure, absolutely. Just in terms, I suppose, flip side of the coin there, looking at, I mean, we talked about sort of the coaching side of things. Now, looking at, I suppose, players that you've played with in terms of who developed you or who helped you sort of coming through and sort of put an arm around the, you know, arm around the shoulder type thing and d helped you sort of move forward. Um, yeah, no, there ain't anyone I can really mention. You know, when I was at Charlton, I was 16 and, um, you know, I was a baby at a team. Uh, and everyone tried to help you at different times, but there wasn't one outstanding person. Maybe a guy called Leighton Phillips, who was a Welsh international. Um, he was always had a lot of time for us. So, um, but generally speaking, I moved then to, to Luton, and by this time I'm in the top flight, you know, with the big boys. And it's I'm quite a young lad, and just sort of picking up the experience as I go. Okay, just looking at players again. I mean, there's probably a good few players that you played with that you'd, you'd rate. But I mean, is there a best player that kind of sticks in mind that you played with, and also that you played against? Uh, yeah, well, K Kenny, Kenny, Rushy, you know, would be right up there. Um, there are some great players in the team I played in at Liverpool, but I also played with Gazza as well and Gary Lineker. Gary Lineker weren't quite as good as Rushy, I didn't think. Gazza was an amazing uh, individual, um, but I think best all-round player, maybe Kenny would just pit Rushy for me. Okay. Just, only just. And Platini was the best player I ever played against, Michel Platini. Okay, brilliant. Um, last question, um, best memory in football, what would it be? Um, it might sound a, a mad one because although I've done a, I played in Liverpool's double winning team, I got injured towards the end of the season and missed the last 10 games and didn't play in the cup final. And when I did play in the cup final, I came on a sub, so it weren't my best, best moment. Okay. But scoring on my home debut in 14 seconds versus West Ham. <laughs> um, the old man in the stand, the West Ham season ticket holder. <laughs>